Just left the parking lot at a snow lake. Heading up to check out Guy Peak, Snoqualmie Mountain, which I've heard is a pretty steep climb, but it's about 2.30 p.m. now. A little bit of sun. It's supposed to be cloudy, maybe clearing up a little. Hopes aren't too high. But hoping to go up, check out Guy Peak, Snoqualmie Mountain. Uh, kind of check out London Peak. If it's wet and stuff, I don't think I'm gonna bother with it. But we'll see how it looks. And then come down Commonwealth Basin, hopefully before sundown. There's like three summits on this thing, so I'm gonna see if I can keep, keep moving on. Hopefully, get back quick. True summit of Guy Peak, the third one, I guess. I I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Slightly exposed that one down climb that I did, I guess. But I guess my wrist tolerance and stupidity level is higher than most hikers, I guess. So I just just went for it. No, it's pretty cool over here. I had fun coming over along this this ridge here. Super fun. Um, yeah, I gotta go back now and then head up that beast. Uh, it's like 3:30 now, so I gotta cooking. I'm going to be out here in the dark.
Alrighty, I'm at one of the summits of Snoqualmie. That one shows up as the true summit on Gaia. This one feels taller, but it's like, I'd have to go down and around this to get over there. I don't think it matters that much to me. I think I'd rather have more time to finish my route before the sun goes down. So, so you're gonna come up the wrong side of Snoqualmie. I think you can make it. You just have to like down climb and go around this rocky spine that I'm on here. I got to definitely a high point on it, but it's not the, I don't think it's the actual summit, but there's a couple guys coming up behind me, so they probably know better. Maybe, I didn't really research that much coming up this way. But yeah, still amazing up here. Super beautiful. I think I'm gonna change my plans, call it a little audible. My original plan was to go summit London Peak, as you can't see it over there in the clouds now, getting engulfed by these kind of low hanging clouds. And it's already 6 p.m., so I only got like two hours of daylight. I don't know enough about that route to do it in the dark and potentially, in the, or in the clouds and potentially in the dark. I don't feel like confident enough to do that. So that sucks, I would've went would have connected that and then went down to Commonwealth Basin and came back to my car. But instead, I'm just going to go back down this spine and down climb and find a way up to at least get to the true summit of Snoqualmie. So I'll be able to actually check that off the list. And then uh, I'm going to descend down the regular route where you can see right there. It goes right back down to Alpenzal. So yeah, that's where it goes. You got to be able to change your plans and your mountains. Weather conditions can change so rapidly. So, oh well. All right, over on the true summit now, that's the Palmy Mountain. It was, you can definitely get up from over there. You just kind of come down and around this west side of that gnarly spine. I actually met two guys over on the other side of it. They were like, ah, I've never seen anybody come up this side before. Yeah, you can make it over here from there if you come up the other side. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty beautiful. Kind of bummed I'm not going to do the rest of my route, but it's all right. I was able to come over here and see it. It's definitely a better view over here. I can see Snow Lake down there. Maybe I'll do a, a pan around, point out some things, but it's super cool up here. There's nobody up here on a Friday evening. I guess it's kind of late now. It's probably like 6.30ish. But yeah, gorgeous, still gorgeous. I'm loving it. We'll spin around here. We got Wright Mountain, Gem Lake's in there, Snow Lake. And the clouds up here is Roosevelt, Cleeton, Chair Peak, I think are all in there. Um, Granite Mountain over here, Alpental is right down there, Snoqualmie Pass. Silver Peak and Tinkum are out there. I just found out that this is called Catchless Lake, as in catchless fish. I've been calling it Catchless Lake for many years now. That is incredible that I just decided to look that up for pronunciation. Catchless Lake, it's crazy. Mount Margaret's out here. Kind of see Rampart Ridge a little bit. Getting kind of towards Tianaways are up in there. High box. This was that spiny ridge I was on. Those guys just were coming up this. That's where I came and went up over here. And then we spin around. You can kind of see the base of Stewart. 
way out there through those clouds. Or base of the enchantments of some sort. Uh, I got Thompson. There's this awesome waterfall in there that I, doesn't even show up on the map. It comes from Iceberg Lake. It's kind of cool. I don't know if there's a way to get up into there, but it looks huge. Right over here, missing out on a bunch of peaks in the clouds there. Oh well. Mount Price, Garfield Mountain. We're back around. That's a uh, preacher. And then this is the Snoqualmie, Middle Fork Snoqualmie uh, River there. You can see it. You can actually see it if I go over on the ledge here. But super awesome. Super pretty. Yeah. Weather is turning out pretty good. to the car it's pretty steep coming down that a lot of a lot of knee action a lot of thigh and knee action but it's all right made it back down uh, this lady stopped me and she's like was that you over on the ridge there and then i was like yeah and she's like i just came up that way too boy how'd you come up she asked me and i was like yeah those other two guys came up too i guess we all came up that way just like 30 minutes to an hour apart and no, no one came up the regular route we all came down it but we're all just like shocked that there's seen other people coming up that way i guess that was but yeah it was beautiful super cool route to go up but yeah i'm excited to go now i can get a burger in my stomach a little earlier now that i bailed on my original plan so that's that's the one perk of not completing what i wanted to do but it's all right burger time it is burger time <laughs> 